I work on the community care team at Greenville Oaks. Our team consists of nine worker bees and our queen bee is Sandra Dunnigan, without whom our ministry could not operate. Our job is to help those in Greenville Oaks and our surrounding community when families find themselves in a financial need. The reasons these people find themselves in need are, are varied. We've had cases recently of a single mother who uh, lost her job and is facing eviction. We had a case of a grandmother who could barely scrape by on her social security benefits, then found herself taking custody of four grandkids. Or there was a family who had a medical crisis. Their electricity was about to be shut off. We're able to help over 200 of those individuals and families with over $150,000 towards their needs. Thank you for allowing us to help them. I'm proud to be part of a church who takes care of people the way Jesus took care of people. Thank you for being that church. Since the pandemic, the number of requests we get each month has almost tripled. This stack represents the 32 cases we received just last month in the month of May. From May of 2023 through May of this year, we had over 350 applications. We were able to help over 200 of those individuals and families with over $150,000 to support their needs. We also have community partners that we support financially. Partners like Hope Restored Missions, ACO, Community Garden Kitchen, Agape Resources, and Christian Care Services. Community care is only funded by the contributions that you give. So, what can you do to help? Well, we have two main needs. Financial is our first need. We need you to continue to contribute throughout the year. And our second need is for help. We need people to join our team. Because of the number of requests and the rate at which they come in during the month, our nine members are sometimes overloaded. So, what does it take? It takes you having a telephone, a willingness to listen, and a willingness to hurt for others sometimes. That sound like something you think you could do? Give me a call and we, we'll talk about it and put you to work. If you heard that and said, no, that's not for me, totally understand. Just continue to support our ministry. And finally, I'd ask that you pray for our ministry. Pray that as we are in the community, that we can be the hands and feet of Jesus to the people that we're in contact with each day. Thank you.